I mean, in terms of uh, what they delivered in 2023, that's more or less in line with expectations. Um, so I would say that that's really good news, uh, but we were not expecting it. big surprises here. In terms of the guidance on aircraft deliveries for 2024, you're right. 800 uh, is a little bit below what we were expecting. We were closer to more than 820 planes, but I think uh, it's it's very much understandable given the supply chain issues and the big ramp up uh, that the industry is um, facing at the moment. So I guess it's still above what they've delivered this last year in 2023. So that's uh, going into the right directions. Um, in terms of a dividend, I think our expectation is that the company will continue to operate with a conservative financial policy, but at the same time, they have good financial flexibility. We shouldn't forget that the company is operating with a net cash position, and uh, that's given them good financial flexibility to potentially indeed increase the uh, dividend payout. Indeed. So all eyes are on how Airbus shares react to this news. The stock's up around 30% over the last 12 months, as you just saw on that chart on your screen. But there are a number of issues underneath the surface. And I wanted to unpack one of the big ones with you. And it's this issue that Airbus has in the space division. We've seen the CEO, Guillaume Fauré, saying there's a crisis in that division after this unexpected $320 million charge. He said, and I quote here, Put simply, mishaps of this magnitude and suddenness are just not acceptable at Airbus. So I want to understand from your perspective, are the risks, are the, are the risks being managed appropriately here? And, and what's your understanding of what has happened within the space division that resulted in such a huge unexpected charge? Sure. I mean, those kind of exceptional charges or let's say not unusual in this industry. We shouldn't forget that the company is an engineering company and they, are, they can be exposed to such charges. So it's really about uh, managing the costs uh, in, in those programs that can derail from the expectations from time to time. From our point of view, the space division, given its relatively lower uh, size compared to the most important commercial aircraft division um, is not going to have a, such a big impact on our rating uh, at the moment for Airbus. So we don't see that uh, as putting our A-flat rating uh, in, in danger here for Airbus.